Well, hey friends, today I am teaming up for a really fun collab with Nikki from Carrie Grace and some other YouTubers. We are doing this really awesome challenge that Nikki has created. Um, it was a series that was originally on her blog. So with this challenge, you basically get $200 to make over a room. So we are going to do this for the next uh, couple months. And today we are going to work on our living rooms. And I'm really excited because my living room needs makeover. And in all honesty, I have used this challenge to figure out what I want to do with this space. Because while we renovated our home, and we've been in it now for a year, so a lot of these choices are fairly brand new choices for us. I mean, they're just a year old. Um, there are things that I need to do and want to change in here, and so I'll go over those with you. But first, I kind of want to walk you around my living room and share with you a tour. So this area right here, um, I'm fairly satisfied with it. However, I need something here on this wall, and I would actually like some sort of a lamp. The one major thing that I want to change in the room is the wall color. I hate it. It is so dark and I wish that I had went with something much, much lighter. I'll give you some of my choices when um, further on in the video. However, everything in this room stems from this really dark color and I don't like it. Everywhere else in my house is very, very light. Even my kitchen is all white and um, white walls, white cupboards. And I love to be in it because of the brightness. So I spend really about 80% of my time in this room and um, I just find it way too dark. So I would like to lighten it up. So this little area is where I have my quiet time. Every morning we've got some overflow kids storage here. This is our television uh, armoire. As you can see, we have got some artwork here and that will be one of the things that we need to change. My son got a hold of a Sharpie marker earlier in the week and he redecorated my entire living room. It's all over the couches and was on the floor, at my coffee table, everything. It was everywhere. <laughs> so let me just go over here. I'm fairly satisfied with this area here. Just a little kid's rocking chair, um, a bookshelf with some books, of course. And I'm pretty satisfied with the styling of this bookcase. It changes from season to season, but I'm happy with it for spring. I would like to change these lampshades. As you can see, they do not match the wall. Um, and nothing that I want to do in my home involves gray. So I would like to change those. So we will see if we can find something within our $200 budget that will work for the lampshades. And then, so here are the curtains. These were picked up from Target, and our Target was liquidating. And when I found these, I thought they would be a perfect match. I loved the pattern. However, they don't go together. Um, it's, a, it's not quite picking up here on camera, um, but the curtains are very gray, and the walls... It, it just doesn't go. It doesn't go at all. Um, and so I'd like to change that. We only have two panels. And I would like to actually add four. So then we have this sofa table. As you can see, here is some Sharpie marker. Um, the sofa table doesn't match the tones of wood that I have in my house. However, I think I would just put a runner on top of it. Um, I'm not interested in painting this yet or refinishing it because it is just behind the sofa and you really can't see it I'm I will do anything not to paint I hate to paint <laughs> um, so we will keep that as it is for now and again the decor on the back of this always changes as well um, I am famous for not getting photos into my frames um, so it just kind of is what it is and it works I have to be kind of strategic with what I put on the sofa table because my kids play in here um, and they this is basically their playroom so everything that's on this table has to be stuff that is unbreakable and that they can kind of get their hands on and it will be okay as far as the picture frames my son usually leaves those alone he did actually bring them to me yesterday um, so even those though those are breakable he has largely left them alone and then we have our love seat here We've got some Sharpie marker on that. So with my furniture, like I said, my kids are in here 
90%, 80% of the time. Um, and so we just flip the cushions over when we have company. So if sticky hands get on the furniture, I don't have to worry. Um, we have a nice side for company. And our furniture pieces are nine years old. So Sharpie and then under this lovely blanket is more. So then we have this area over here. I purchased this armor thing secondhand and it holds a lot of my decor pieces. Um, I just recently switched out this area and I'm pretty satisfied with it. And again, this is just a matching lamp from across the room and I would like to change that. So then we have got our couch area. And again, the cushions are dirty, they're a mess, but company comes over and they get flipped and they're beautiful. <laughs> um, one area that I want to change for sure is what is above the couch because there is nothing. Um, in decorating such a large, expansive space, I don't want just small items. And larger items generally cost a lot more, so we haven't just got there yet. And it's taken me a while to decide what I want on this wall. So I will share with you that later in this video. Another thing that I really want to do in here is add throw pillows. We only have two throw pillows at the time of filming, so I want loads more so that will kind of go within my plan. I've got a dog here and she will stay. And then we have our coffee table. So this is actually my in-laws coffee table. It's probably um, I don't know, between 25 and 30 years old. It is super duper sturdy. My kids love to jump on it, sit on it, play on it. I'm not at all interested in changing it, but I've wanted to refinish it for years now, years. But I just haven't decided the look I've wanted to go with. So it's just kind of stayed as it is. It needs majorly refinished. Um, but I'll share with you the thoughts that I have on that later in the video. And so we just come over to this corner. I'm fairly satisfied with this area and this rocking horse. My grandparents actually painted this for me when I was a little kid. It has my name on it. So that is kind of a, a treasure to me. Um, Colt likes to ride it, my young son. And then this black piece my dad made for me. And then we just have some artwork up on the wall. So that is a look at the living room. Now I'm going to share with you some of the changes that I would like to make in this space. Okay, so I'd like to begin with sharing with you some inspiration that I have for my living room. I have saved a lot of images on my Pinterest board, uh, and I will leave a link for that down below if you want to see more. But I absolutely love the look of this room. Um, I'm really inspired by the couches. They're very similar to my couch, and I'm really attracted to the taupey creams and the blues that are uh, displayed in the pillows. And then this image, if I could move in here, I would. I absolutely love it. The brightness of the space just speaks to me completely. Now, this will kind of give you a clue as to the wall color that I want to use. I want to go with a very light, 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 watery blue. I think it's absolutely beautiful. And with the pops of um, white and cream and tan that we already have in our living room, I think it would be a perfect accompaniment. So next, let us take a look at the color choices that I'm kind of looking at. We went with Sherwin-Williams when we painted our home, and we really liked the paint. Um, and so I went on their website and I picked a few colors that I thought looked good. Um, I actually may want to go a little bit lighter. We would get a few different testers and of course test them on the walls and look at them throughout the various times of the day because light plays such a role in your paint choices. So because my sweet little son decided to try and make over our armoire, I am going to repaint it. I had wanted to repaint it anyways. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make some homemade chalk paint. I have a video here on my channel that I will link you to. Um, and I am going to repaint some of these pieces. So the armoire, the bookshelf, and the cupboard. 
I will just continue to use a white base. Uh, we have cloud white here at home in our paint storage area, and I will use some calcium carbonate to actually make the chalk paint. It is a wonderful medium. Again, check that video out for more information. And that is $10. So I've wanted to make over our coffee table for years now, but I've really lacked some inspiration. So I found this picture on Pinterest and I thought it was perfect. I loved the creamy white of the base with a different colored top. However, I think that putting um, a stain on top would move me out of my $200 budget. So what I think I would do is something like in this next picture, just using some paint that I already have on hand to create a weathered sort of of look. I would use the white chalk paint that I use on my armoire and bookcases and things to paint the bottom legs. Total cost zero dollars. So next we come to the draperies. So I found this really fantastic deal on Amazon for seven dollars for one drapery panel. So I would like to do four so that would bring us to a total of twenty eight dollars. So next we come to the pillows, and this is something that I think will give a lot of character and comfort to the room. So I am going to pick up two of these pillows from Ikea. They are filled with duck feathers. I have two of these already in my living room, and they are really, really comfortable. Um, and they're 20 by 20 inches, so they're quite big. So I would pick up another two. So I had two for each couch, two for the love seat, and two for the regular couch. Then I would go ahead and pick up some of these more inexpensive cushions. They're only $5, and these are Canadian prices, so you could probably get them a lot cheaper in the States. Um, these pillows are $5, and I would add two to my love seat, two to my couch, and then one to my chair. So in total, I would need a lot of pillows, <laughs> and it would come to $56. Of course, to go with the pillow forms, you need pillow covers, and Amazon has some amazing deals on pillow covers. So I'm sharing with you a few of my favorites and the ones that I felt would really go good with my inspiration picture as well as the look I'm creating. I love these polka dot ones, and I plan to probably get three of those, maybe four to go um, on the various couches. And then the other pillows that you're seeing, these would just, I would probably just purchase one, maybe two, um, to add as accent pillows. As you can see, the prices are very inexpensive, ranging pretty much from $5 to $8 for pillow covers. My thought is that I would anchor my couches with these cream corduroy pillows. So I'd put one in each corner, so that would give me a total of four pillows. And then I would add the blue polka dot ones, um, a couple on each of the couch and love seat. And then I would add the rest in sporadically to give an eclectic sort of look. So this next photo will show you a look of kind of all of the pillows together. And seeing this photo, it just makes me happy. I love the look of it. Now, I really liked this home sweet home pillow. Um, however, I probably would not put it in my living room. I kind of played with the idea, but I think that I could actually make that myself. I would use my Cricut machine and cut heat transfer vinyl and just add that to a white pillow case itself rather than actually purchasing it. So there's another idea for you if you want to add some punch to your pillows in an inexpensive way. So at this point, I have maxed out my budget. In fact, I went over by $5. I, it, my total came to $205. So as you can see, there were some things that I didn't complete that were on my list. But I'm going to take a second and I'm going to share with you some of those things and how I would change them if I had another $100 or so in my budget. So if you remember, I really wanted to put something above my couch. It's taken me a long time to try and figure out what I wanted to add. I didn't want anything too small. I wanted something nice and substantial to fill the space because small items can tend to look very cluttered. So I found this arrangement on Pinterest and it's been on my mind for a very long time. So that is the arrangement that I will be going with. And these are the frames that I found from Hobby Lobby. I love the white sort of weathered look and I will add some black and white photos into the frames. 
And the last thing that I wanted to change was those lampshades. So I've had a really difficult time trying to find my vision. I just want something very simple, linen, um, to just be very light and bright. And I found these shades on Target.com. They are a threshold brand and they are $10 each. I love the look of them and they would be perfect in my space. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I really enjoyed putting this together. I'm really looking forward to next month and the following month where we're going to do some different rooms. So make sure to check out the ladies down below. Make sure to visit Nikki's page at Carrie Grace. I'll have the link, of course, down below. And check out the other spaces. I enjoy decorating. I know these gals probably have some really great ideas and I can't wait to take a peek into their spaces. So if you are new to my channel, I would love it if you would subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys have a wonderful day and I will chat with you soon. Bye.